This is the North Star Show. I'm your host, Bruce Krentz. This week, lined up for you, one minute with Brandon McKay. We talked to a couple of the members of the Norman Wild girls hockey team. We've got Blair Bodie and Callie Cummings. Coming right up, an interview with Coach Brad Ritchie. kick things off today with assistant coach Brad Ritchie. Brad will jump right into blues and golds from this past weekend and it's, it's going to be really nice to talk about the win. I feel like that's coming in the golds, I really do. But uh, first we'll do some blues. So some things that you saw this weekend that maybe you'd still like the guys to improve on before the year ends. Well, thanks Bruce. Uh, I thought over the weekend generally pretty good, but some things that we definitely need to work on, we took some stick penalties. We took uh, a uh, two penalties, I believe, in, on Saturday's game, maybe three, and then two again on Sunday's game. And we don't mind, uh, you know, penalties, compete penalties, battle penalties, but when you get that stick vertical, or, pardon me, horizontal on a guy, the refs are instructed right away to call it. So when guys quit moving their feet and they get that stick up, and we're playing against smart players in this league, they know, they feel that stick on their hip, they're clamping down, and our guys, hey, they're holding my stick, but we have to be aware of that. So that'd be one thing that we'll talk about, I'm sure, tonight, uh, making sure we don't take those penalties that are really, really preventable. Yeah, absolutely. Been a great weekend because we got a win and it's been a little while since that. So the win was a gold. What other things did you see from the guys this weekend that really shone for you and, and pushed the team over the edge? Well, I think it's, it's really, uh, it, it, it came, came through, the, everything came through this weekend. It's, it's been progressing really since Christmas. We've, we've had great effort right, right through. I, I know we spoke about the penalties, but we did a, a pretty good job overall staying out of the box, which allows us to roll all, all four lines, and that makes a big difference for this club. When we can get all four lines out, get some continuity going, you don't overextend some guys so they're fatigued in the third period, and uh, that was a big thing for this weekend. So staying out of the box and letting everybody play hit the ice, that was definitely a big part of it. These guys have proven that they can play in this league. They are capable of playing in this league, and that's right from the top uh, of our roster down to the bottom. So I hope they have a good feeling uh, after this weekend and really since Christmas time going into the, the last two weekends of the season. Got to, we've got to stay out of the box, like you said, on, on Sunday. Finally, I felt like the guys put together 60 minutes, and it just seems it's those little lapses that have, that have whammed us all year long, and so finally uh, on Sunday it kind of all came together. Any final thoughts as we head into these last games of the year? Yeah, well, you know, if I could just maybe just... To take, take a step back to another positive of, of the weekend was Mark Steve's got both starts. Uh, he's his, you know, in his last year, midget, this is his last year playing, and he's really shown that uh, he's, he's a number one goalie. He could play on any team in, in this league and do well, and he played really well. We wouldn't have won without uh, the strong effort by, by Mark this weekend. And as far as what's, uh, you know, going to happen here for, for the rest of the season, we've got three games on the road this weekend. We've had uh, very close games with Morden, or pardon me, Pemina Valley, we play in Morden, so every game with them has been a one goal game. And we've got uh, two losses in the third period, like was, you know, they scored with uh, one minute left in Morden and here in Thompson, yeah. you guys remember that game. So we know we can, can compete with them. Eastman last year we went down there, we hung one on them this time of year, so we hope to do so again. And they're right near the top of the standings. And uh, then there's the Winnipeg Wild, who are clearly, you know, they're in the top of the league for a reason. But we skated well with them when they were here, and we've talked about we have to get our minds worked and we have to be able to think quicker. It's, it's not about foot speed, it's about uh, thinking and reacting, and hopefully that, uh, that lesson will, will take root and we'll, we'll be able to have a good showing against them as well. We're looking forward to a strong end to the season. The guys are, uh, are picking it up a little bit here at the end. Thanks a lot. That's assistant coach Brad Ritchie. Thanks, Bruce. You're watching the North Star Show on Shaw TV. I'm here now with two members of the Norman Wild, Blair Bodie and Callie Cummings joining me. They're also two of the biggest fans of the North Star Show. They're down here every week during our taping, almost, almost groupies. But uh, really, their winter is spent with the Norman Wild. How's your season gone so far, Blair? Uh, well, it's gone pretty good. I uh, wish we could have got a couple more wins, but it's been all right. That's kind of how it goes. So uh, you guys play pretty much every weekend, right? You're either here or on the road? Yeah. 
roughly the same schedule as the North Stars. Excellent. And uh, you've got a couple of games coming up this weekend. Kelly, uh, what do you think about the games coming up? What, what can we look for from your team? Uh, I think we're going to have a good weekend. Um, we, we started off the year kind of slow, um, but I think uh, we can look forward to maybe a couple wins this weekend. What does the team have to do? What's your style? Are you a crash and bang kind of team, or are you a little more sort of finesse group that's going to uh, throw in some pretty goals? Uh, I'd say we're more crash and bang. Bunch of tough northern kids? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, here's a tricky one for both of you. Blair, tell us about uh, Callie this year. What, what kind of player is she? What's she done well so far this year? <laughs> um, well, she's a pretty aggressive player. A couple of big hits. And uh, <laughs> Tell me about it. She uh, separated Murphy's shoulder. Broke his <laughs> collarbone, I mean. Anyways. <laughs> and uh, she's gotten us a couple goals, made us get a couple wins, I guess. Nice. Leading the team a little bit. Okay, now you got to tell us about Blair. What, what kind of player is she? What's she done well this year? Uh, she's a really defensive player. Always make sure people are out of the way of our goalie. Always um, works hard in the corners, gets the puck out. Very good. Two, two of the stars of the Norman Wild. It's Blair Bodie and Callie Cummings joining me. Come on down to the rink this weekend and check out a couple of their games. aware enough to grab it so it didn't go in. Laycock with it now. Over to Uremko. Uremko to McKay. McKay again with the shot. Oh, he scores! Ray on the Looks like McKay planned that one. He shot it right off the backside of <laughs> Eichel, right into the net. Eichel's shaking his head there. Uh. <laughs> He knew that uh, <laughs> it was almost like McKay planned it to shoot it right off the backside. And that's sure yeah. enough, Eichel's saying, that's not my goal, no. man. That should be yours. Nice bank. This is one minute with Brandon Spider-Man McKay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do you think your season's gone so far this year? What are some of the things that you felt uh, good about, sort of personally, over the course of the year? Uh, through the course of the year. At the beginning, it was a rough start because my first, first year playing AAA. But... Uh, as the season started going on, it's started getting smoother for me, easier, making better plays, yeah. Start, starting to pick up the pace. Did you find that uh, one of the things you had to do was get your head into the head up to the same speed as the guys? Uh, Coach Brad was just talking about that a little bit, saying that a uh, big part of the game for you guys is getting your head into it and picking up the speed of the other teams. Did you find you had to do that this year? Yeah. Uh, at the beginning, it was kind of hard, but so I, I, had, I had to get used to it fast, so I just... Started keeping my head up more, I guess. On <laughs> it's sometimes it's tough to make that switch when you when you jump up a league yeah. for sure. Uh, we've got a couple of games still to go this season. What do you think this team has to do to keep getting some wins? Always oh, got to play the full 60 minutes and uh, just keep like shooting shooting the puck to, towards the net. That's how we got our two goals this past weekend to get the win. Yep, get get crashing and, uh, and yeah. get in their face and, and put them away. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Let's do one minute. We got it on the clock. <laughs> Right, here we go. What would you buy if you won the lottery? Uh, a big house, cars, some new equipment for sure. Nice. Yeah. If I had enough money, I'd build a whole new rink and paint it in my team's colors. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> do you have any brothers and sisters? I have two brothers, one stepbrother, one brother, and one sister. That's a dynamite cheering section. Yeah. What's your favorite class at school? Uh, biology. Really? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Didn't go with the standard gym. What's the last movie you watched? Uh, last movie, yeah. Uh, the Interview. Ooh, and? Yeah. It was pretty funny. It was all right? Yeah. I like it. Who's your messiest teammate? Messiest teammate. Uh, messiest teammate. Uh, Caleb Ross, right beside me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, you're living next to a slob. Yeah. What's your favorite type of music? Uh, country and R&B. I like it. Yeah. I like the country R&B, you're on your own. Xbox yeah. or PlayStation? Uh, Xbox. What do you have for pre-game superstitions? Superstition? Uh, I always wear my, my gloves and... <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Time. You brought yeah. them to the interview. <laughs> <laughs> Preparing for the interview, I need my gloves, coach. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Who's your favorite teacher? Uh, favorite teacher? Uh, who was or is? Uh, either one. Was. It was uh, Miss Medwood. Oh, very good. How do you like your eggs? 
That is a new question. <laughs> Scra uh, scrambled. Scrambled? Yeah. <laughs> if you were a superhero, what power would you have? Superhero. Uh, to fly. I like that. Uh, beside the North Star show, what's your favorite TV show? Favorite TV show? Uh, How I Met Your Mother. Oh, great yeah. choice. Uh, last one, what's your favorite app? Favorite app? Dub Smash. I was just playing with that today. Yeah. <laughs> did, did you have your gloves on? No. <laughs> not for that one. Right. Thanks a lot. That's right. one minute with Brandon McKay. Hey, my name is Braden Valance. I'm number 12, position center, hometown's Thompson, and my elementary school is Deerwood. Well, that's another one in the books, folks. Thanks for joining me for the North Star Show. A big thanks to Brandon McKay, our one minute with him, and thoughts on everything from his Spider-Man pants to wearing his gloves before the game. Coach Brad Ritchie and some great thoughts on how the season is uh, sort of turning around or ending on a bright note for them. And a giant thanks to Kelly Cummings and Blair Bodie, two members of the Norman Wild girls team. Come on down to the rink this weekend and check them out. They've got games Friday and Saturday at 7.30 and Sunday morning at 10.30.